Well, here I am once again, just enjoying the beautiful view here at Chaco Culture. And while I was walking along the trail here, something really came to heart. And that was the whole thought about friendships and relationships and family. The relationships we develop in life are the most important part of our life. And I'm not talking just about our intimate relationships, although those are obviously very, very beautiful, especially when you connect with someone from the heart. But I'm talking about the relationships we develop with our friends and family and the people that are closest to us, with our, our circle of influence, our closest friends. If there's anything I've learned over the course of time is how important it is to develop lasting, meaningful relationships and how to allow people to be themselves. Everyone in life is going through their own stuff. We're all going through stuff in life. We all have our ups and our downs and our sideways and our straight aheads and we all have all that. But we also all have the opportunity to get close to people. Should I say close with people? And when I look back in my life, that was the thing that has carried me through all of my difficult times. Those memories of the people that I got close with are the most beautiful memories. And moving forward from that day of my injury, I really spent a lot of time looking at how I allowed myself to get close to people or the walls that I put up and how I was relating with people. And one of the greatest gifts I've received is the art of allowing. And <laughs> I couldn't have done this maybe five or six years ago, but we all have to allow people to go through what they're going through in life. You know, we can't rescue anybody. I certainly can't rescue anybody. And I don't want that responsibility. I know when I was injured, when that rock hit me in the head, I learned how to rescue myself. That was the most powerful experience of my entire life. There was no one around. There was not a single person around. I expected there to be people around. I really, really did. I thought there would be people around to rescue me and get me to the hospital and get me on the emergency room table and stitch me up. But you know what? I'm so glad that there wasn't because self-rescue, think about it. I had to rescue myself. I was hit in the head. I passed out. As I was passing out, I thought my life was over. I woke up and I was covered in blood and I was completely shocked that I was still alive. I had to do a self-assessment. I had to figure out whether I was injured worse than I thought I was, whether my neck was broken. I had no idea how badly I was injured. I had to do a self-assessment and a self-rescue. And that is what life is about. I've talked about the importance of changing our story, but in order to change our story, we have to do a self-assessment. We have to step back and take an inventory and say, what is working in my life and what isn't working? Are the relationships I'm developing with people meaningful? Do I have loving relationships in my life? Am I having a positive difference in people's lives? You know how you can tell whether you're moving in the right direction or not? Whether things are lining up or not? I mean, look at the experiences that we're going through. You know, look at what's showing up in your life. You know, there's an old saying, success leaves clues. If we're truly living from our heart, if we're living from spirit, if we're in alignment and not trying to manipulate and control and, and make things happen, things will unfold in a beautiful, meaningful, loving way. So, self-rescue, which is all about taking total responsibility for our lives. That is what I believe in. I've mentioned it earlier. I believe in total self-responsibility now. Remember, no more blame, no more victim consciousness, total self-responsibility. That's all about living from the heart. That's about developing solid relationships, not just with other people, but with ourselves. The relationships that we have with other people are going to be a direct reflection of how we treat ourselves. If we're loving and caring and thoughtful towards ourselves, that's how we're going to be with other people. If we're hard on ourselves, we're going to be hard on other people. People can tell. Kids can tell. Animals can tell. There's no hiding anything on this planet. None. When I was on the ground doing my self-assessment and taking that moment of deciding my next step, 
I had to make an internal decision. I, most of us go through life living from the outside in. We look at the way things are, and then we go, oh, that's the way it must be. And then we make decisions based on what we see and based on what's happening. The whole idea of self-responsibility is living from the inside out, taking responsibility for our thoughts and our beliefs and our emotions, and then going out and being proactive and making them happen. So as we develop a relationship with ourselves, a healthy, meaningful relationship, that will manifest in healthy, meaningful relationships with other people. As we start loving ourselves, we'll be able to love more people. We'll be able to love animals more freely. We'll be able to love the moment and be in the moment more freely. So. Life is a relationship. There's a relationship between the wind and the sun, between the tides and the moon. Everything flows. Everything occurs in its own natural time and its own space. And that's what it's about. It's about allowing that flowing of energy, the relationship with self, the relationship with love, realizing that we're all connected. We're all connected. Listen. The only reason that this video is being filmed right now is because that camera is connected to the ether, the airways, and it's filming me. It's all connected. It might appear separate, you know. These rocks all appear separate. This tree appears separate. Everything appears separate, and everything has its own vibration. Sure, that's true. But we're all connected. And the more we connect with our own heart, the more we're going to be able to connect with other people and other people's hearts. And that heart connection is what we're looking for on this planet. If we want to start healing the planet, we have to start connecting the web of life. We have to start touching the hearts of other people. Listen, I've got two hands here. My heart's in the center. I touch one person's heart with this hand. I touch one person's heart with this hand. We're connected. Just because they're not here physically doesn't mean we're not connected. We don't have to be physically connected to people to make a difference in the world. We can do it with our own thoughts and our own actions and our own beliefs. Everything comes from the inside out. That's the journey of life, and that's the most beautiful relationship in the world, is living from the inside out. Develop that relationship with yourself. Love yourself from the heart. Let go of the past. Tear down those walls, build bridges, and build meaningful relationships. Thank you so much again for joining me in this moment. Lots of love to all of you that are viewing this. Namaste.